Hey there, this is Jordan Alexo from Pro Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to explain how you can make a free WordPress website. So I'm going to explain all of the little steps so in a few minutes you can have a website on the internet. So let's get started. So first you need to head over to WordPress.com and not WordPress.org. People initially do a bit of confusion between both and WordPress.org is where you can get the full version of WordPress but for you to use the full version you need to have a domain name and also a web host provider. Now I'm going to just explain a few details about using the free version of WordPress or in other words what you won't get by using the free version. The first thing is plugins. Plugins is one of the most powerful features in WordPress and using the free version you won't have plugins. If you don't know what a plugin is, it's basically an application that you can install into your WordPress website and this application performs all different types of tasks in your website. For example, if you want to transform your website into an online store, you have a plugin for that or if you want to add uh, social sharing buttons to your posts so people can start sharing your posts inside of Facebook, Twitter and so on. You also have plugins for that. So there are many different plugins that you can use and with the free version, unfortunately, you don't have that option. The second thing is the domain name. You will get something that looks like example.wordpress.com so it doesn't really look professional you won't have a unique domain name just for you the other thing is themes it's quite limited when you are using the free version compared to the full version of wordpress so you don't have so many choices when it comes to the design of your website and the first thing and the last thing which is really important for you to notice is all the content that you will spend hours probably writing in your website will be stored in a server belonging to WordPress. So in other words, they can do whatever they want. Even if they, they don't like your website for some kind of reason, they may just delete your website and totally disappear with your website and you cannot really do anything because your website is installed in their own property. So they can do whatever they want with their own property. Now, why should you use the free version? Well, if you want to build a casual blog where you probably just want to gain the habit of writing some content on a daily basis, probably to show to your friends, family, and just to basically better your skills at writing, then you can use a free version for that. Now, if you want to make money on the internet, by no means use the free version. If you want to do, for example, a professional blog where later on you might put advertisement, uh, promote a service, a product or anything that uh, you want to do to make money on the internet, then don't use the free version. Get your own domain name, your own web host provider and build your own website. And if you want to learn more about this, then click on the link that you can see on the video screen so you can watch my other video where I explain everything in detail. Now for you to create a, a free website, you need to click on this button that says create website. So now you have six steps that you must follow so you can create your website. The first step is to choose a main category for your website. So you want to pick one of them. Let's say that I want to create a website related to arts and entertainment. So I just click on this option. Then I need to choose a subcategory. Let's see movies. And then in the second step, you need to choose the layout that you want for your website front page. So you have four choices here. You have a list of my latest posts, a welcome page for my site, a grid of my latest posts, an online store. So you need to choose one of them. Let's say that I'm going to choose this first option. And now in, in the third step, you need to choose the design that you want for your website or in other words, how you want your website to look like. And you can choose one of them. Don't worry if later on you don't like the design of your website because you can change it. So I'm going to choose one of them. Let's say this, this one, Hemingway. So I just click on it. Now you need to select the domain name that you want for your website or uh, the name for your website. So let's call it uh, best movies 
online. Let's see if this is actually available. You can see that it's available. Best movies online blog dot WordPress dot com. So you get this this quite huge domain name as I said before and you just need to select push the select option and then over here you want to choose the free option and just click on it now you want to put your email address so I'm going to grab mine which is this one over here and I'm just going to paste it and choose the username that you want I'm just going to leave this one and also the password so I'm going to put over here a password and I'm just going to press create my account so I can start my new website you just need to wait a few seconds until you are able to start using your website now you just press continue so once you go to your new website you will be able to see this sidebar which has several options and the, the options that you can see over here is basically the ones that you need to use so you can start writing new content, change the design of your website, or even include a menu in your website. So I'm going to explain each one of them so you can get a better understanding. For example, stats, which is the first one. Once you go to this option, you are taken to a new page and it provides some useful information. For example, the number of views that you had in a particular day likes, comments, and all of that type of information. Then you have posts and also pages. And I know that when people are starting out, they make a bit of a confusion between both of them. Well, you should use pages for all of the static information that you want to include in your website. This includes your contact page, where people can go if they want to send an email to you, or for example, your privacy policy page, any kind of static information you should always use pages now if you want to write for example a how to tutorial uh, tips about a specific topic then you should always use posts and I'm going to use a post so you can see the, the several options that you can use so you can start writing some content for your website so once you go to your new post you have several options appearing on the sidebar I'm going to explain them. For example, categories. In categories, you can basically choose the topic that you want for your post. For example, let's say that this is a post uh, related to WordPress plugins. So what I would do is I would click on Add New Category, and I would call this category WordPress Plugins. Then I would just add, add. and once I had, I'm able to select WordPress plugin this means that this post belongs to this category because it's a post where I talk about WordPress plugins so categories is a way for you to basically um, basically give a topic to your posts a uh, way for you to organize them by a particular topic that's why you should use categories now tags is something that I, it's pretty useless it's not something that you should worry about nowadays it's something that I don't even use so don't worry about tags then you have featured image uh, future image is once you post you publish this post it goes to this block area this means that the newest post will per first and it will have a small future image which makes your post seem a bit more attractive so I'm going to add a future image by clicking on set future the image you can go to add new if you want to add an image from your computer or even add the URL where you have the image that you want to use but I'm just going to use one that is one of the standard image images I'm just going to select it and I'm going to set featured image so now I have a featured image as you, as you may see uh, sharing if you want to add sharing buttons and also like button you need to check these two options then you have post format so you have several formats for your post I'm just going to leave the standard one then you have more options which well it's not that important so the ones that I've explained are the most important ones now you go to your post and the first thing that you need to have is of course your main title so let's say how to use 
uh, let's see a plugin a schemat which is a WordPress plugin so you want to add your main title this is the most important title it's the title that you should make it really enticing so you get more people to read your content and if you ever use any kind of test editor the options that you see over here are pretty similar if you don't have this this uh, this bar appearing on the bottom you just need to press these three dots and you can see that it shows more options once you do that so let's add some some content over here just like this so I can show you the, the next options so if you want to add an image just click where you want to add your image click on add media and you can select once again an image from your computer or URL or from one of the standard images that they have so I'm just going to select this one insert into my post and if you see that your image is way too big what you do is you select your image and you can see that you have the small boxes appearing on the corners and you just need to basically reduce the size of your image just like this till you have the appropriate size if you want to align your image to the left side you can select align left just like this or you can do the same thing for the center and also to the right side if you want to make something bold you just select the the test that you want to make bold you click on this small B and you can see that everything becomes bold same thing with italic and once you uncheck both options you can see that it removes the formatting if you want to create a link you just create in this case I'm just going to write link and I just select this small insert link and now I just need to select the website where I want to link so let's say prosaitorials.org and if I want to open in a new tab I just check this option so I link and you can see that it changes this test to a link if you want to add bulletin points you just click on the bulleted list you can see that you have a small dot that appears then you just put one two and press enter and once you press twice enter it removes you from the bulleted list same thing with the number list it's pretty identical the options if you want to make something underline you just click on this underline option if you want to make a uh, horizontal line you just click on this option and it does a horizontal line if you want to remove the let's say you have a bunch of formatting and you want to remove everything you just select this area and you press this small clear formatting which looks like a rubber and it removes everything from a particular area so once you have your post done what you need to do is just publish it but first you may want to do a preview so you can get a better idea of how it looks like just click on the preview option so this is how it will look like in your blog once it's published and once you have everything done you just want to publish it but first I need to actually confirm my email uh, address so I need to confirm my email I actually haven't received the confirmation but for you to publish anything you first need to confirm your email address which I still haven't done and that's why I cannot publish it but once I press the publish button then my post will appear in the block section of my website over here and I will have that feature of the image which is this one appearing on the block section now let's pass to another option pages has pretty much the same option as the posts but in this case it's for pages but the options are pretty identical as you may see then you have themes if you want to change the design of your website you just click on this option and you go to themes once you go to this page you can see all of the different designs that you can use for your WordPress website and quite honestly you have a, a couple of them that you can use sure it's not the, the same amount that you can use once you have your own domain name but you still have plenty of them a few of them it's important to notice that they are premium and you can see that because of the pricing that they have displayed typically the premium themes have a better design they have more options for you to customize your website so you can have something that looks unique 
The great thing about WordPress is how easily you can change the whole look of your, your website basically just in a few clicks and at the same time you don't lose the information that you already have wrote for your website. So for example if I want to use this theme I just click on this theme and I just press to activate this design and this is a free theme so I don't need to pay to, to use it. Then I visit my site and you can see that it immediately changes the whole look of my website. So that's how simple you can change the design of your website using WordPress. So I'm going to my site so I can explain a few other options. And you can see that since I've installed this theme, I also have a new, a couple of new sections appearing such as testimonials. And menus, you probably are wondering why you can't, you need to create a custom menu. Well, the fact is this menu that you can see displayed on the top section is automatically generated by WordPress. This means that I can't control the pages that are displayed in this menu. So you would need to create a custom menu so you can choose the, the pages that you want to appear. And in this case I probably can't use it because I still haven't activated my email address. But you need to go to this page and basically select the, the pages that you want to display in your menu area. Then you have sharing options. If you want to add a sharing buttons to your blog posts and pages, you can use this, this option. You just need to press connect so you can connect to your Facebook profile. Same thing with Twitter and Google Plus and LinkedIn and so on. It's pretty simple. You just need to press the connect button and connect to your profiles. And also people, if you want to have people to your website, you can use this option. Basically, if you want to, for example, add more authors to your website, you can use this option. This means that people can, you can add other authors. This means that those people who you invite, they are able to go to your website and also write content inside of your website if they are appearing in this listing. So Let's go back to my website over here. And just go to another option. Domains, well, this is not really that important, but domain is basically the name of your website. And you can see that at the moment I'm using this one. Nothing important. Then you can go to settings. And in settings, you can basically change the, the site title, the site title of your website. Let me go to my front webs front page of my website. This is the site title and you can change it if you want by just going over here and putting whatever you want. Best movie blog. Uh, also the site tagline which is the line that will appear below your main title and you can put great videos. Set address. You can also change this. The language, your site, the time zone. If you want your site to be public, that means that anyone can go to your website and view its content, or you can also make it high, hidden or even a private website. It's really up to you, the, the choice, the option that you choose. You can also, you have a few other options over here. If you want to delete your website, you can use the last option for that and just press save settings. And also you can add a footer credit and the footer area is basically this one that appears right below so you can change the footer area the test that is appearing in this section if you want by using this option now I'm just going to refresh my website so you can see a few changes that I've made actually with this theme it doesn't have a tagline but with other themes you can see the tagline in this case I just have the title of my website so I hope you enjoyed this video and by now you know how to make a free WordPress website. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like and share this video if you enjoy it so you can receive my free weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, about internet marketing, how to make money online and much more. So stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials and bye.